Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this really cool flashlight cursor effect inside of Wix Studio. But before we get started, I just wanna give a special shout out to the channel members. I just wanna show appreciation for you guys supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot. And if you aren't aware of what that is, if you press that join button down below the video, you can become a channel member. If you do join, you get early access to videos just like this, but before anybody else. For example, this video I'm actually recording on January 30th, but it's not even going to be publicly available on YouTube until April 4th. So you really do get access to videos pretty early on. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So here I am in Wix Studio. And the first thing I want to do is kind of set up our section here. So what I want to do is I want to change the height, maybe we'll do something around 800 pixels. Something like that looks pretty good. And we're also going to change the background color to a black color for this design that we're doing. I believe you can also do this with a light or white design as well. Um, but we're just doing it with a black design today. And over here on the left hand side, I just want to add some text elements. So I'm going to grab a heading six, I'm going to change the text, and we'll change it to a nice light pink. And we'll also make it a little bit smaller. And lastly, we'll set the responsive behavior to hug and we'll move it over here to the left. Next, let's grab a heading one. We're gonna want this font to be sign bold because I think it looks pretty clean. And we'll also make it a white color so we can actually read it. And for this one, we'll just call this one flashlight cursor. Do something like that. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's try like 96. I think that looks pretty good. And we'll move this right underneath our other text here. Perfect. Two more things that we wanna add here is just a simple paragraph. Now I'm not gonna actually change the text or anything, but I am just gonna simply change the color to a gray. And then last but not least, we'll go ahead and add a button underneath that. And let's remove the background color. And we're just gonna add a one pixel border, but we're gonna change it to white. And then for the corners, let's round the edges. So we're gonna set this to 999. Perfect, something like that. And then for the hover effect, let's also just make sure we have our background color set to our light pink. And we can even change the color of the text to black, just so it's a little bit easier to read. Now let's grab all of our elements here and we're gonna stack them together. And what I want to do is center it in the section. And for the docking, we'll set this to maybe 7.5%. Perfect. Now that our stack is done, we can go ahead and start working on the design elements. So what I'm gonna do is come over to add, go to media, and we're gonna choose one of our planets here. So I'll grab this one. I do want this to be pretty big. So we're gonna make it pretty big and we're gonna place it right about here. I think that looks pretty good. And if you have like a section above it or something like that, you'll see it's kind of overlaying the next section above. If that's what you're going for, then you can just leave it as is. But if you don't want it to look like that, what you can do is grab the section, come down to overflow content and change this from show to hide just like that. And you'll notice it basically clips it. Perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete that section above because we don't need it. I just wanted to show you that trick. And we're gonna add a couple more elements here. Like maybe this satellite dish would be kind of fun to have in here. We'll make it a lot smaller. We'll rotate it to point towards the planet and we'll place it like over here. Maybe we can even make this quite a bit smaller something like that. And then last but not least, maybe we just want an astronaut. So what I'm gonna do is grab our astronaut here. He doesn't need to be this big, but he will he can be about this big because he's in, in the front. We'll rotate him a little bit and it might be kind of fun if he has some sort of floating feeling. So what I'm gonna do is come over to animation and effects. We're gonna go to loop and I'm gonna add a loop interaction. For this one, we're just gonna choose breathe. So he's gonna kind of just bounce up and down ever so slightly. And I want to lower the distance to 15, the duration to 10, and then I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna press preview and I think that looks pretty clean just like that. Perfect. So now that we are done with this, how can we add the flashlight cursor? Well, what we're gonna actually wanna do is come over to the app market. We're gonna search for flashlight cursor and it's gonna be this first option right here and we'll press add to site. Now it always makes you answer these questions for any app that you install that's not made by Wix. So we're gonna go ahead and check this and press agree and add. Once we add it, we're gonna have this option in the ad panel for app widgets and we'll see the flashlight right here. 
So let's drag this out into our or onto our section and we can go ahead and stretch it. So if we just preview it as is, you can see this is what we have and I think it looks pretty clean. However, I think that might be a little too small for my personal liking. So if we click on it and go into the settings, we'll get this little box right here and we can change the size parameters. I think I set this to 60 in my design and I think that looks really, really clean, just like that. I will say though, with this app, they do have a paid version of it. Um, so if you get the paid version, you get a lot more options for the central point, the middle point, the outer point, and you even can choose from different presets like inverted, eclipse, highlight, um, and stuff like that. But if you only have the free version, you can only edit the size parameters, so the size and the unit of measurement. But for me, I think that's all I would really need it for. So I think it looks pretty clean just like this. One thing I do want to note is I really do like the fact that when I hover over buttons, I can still click the buttons just fine. And I can even highlight the text and even click on the different images here. I like how this app, even though it's technically kind of like a container box that's over our content, it still lets us interact with the content underneath that container. I think that is like super cool. Now, the one thing I would maybe request the app maker change or add, or at least add to the premium version is, you know, right here when I'm moving my mouse, you can see my actual cursor. So if I have a section that's just purely aesthetic and there's nothing to click on like these buttons and it's just a for fun interactive experience and there's nothing for the user to actually do other than to just view it visually, then I wish there was maybe an option in the app to like hide the real cursor. That way I just see the flashlight moving around and I don't have to worry about the cursor. But maybe that'll be added in the future, I'm not quite sure. But either way, I think this is a super cool app and let me know if you guys intend to use it. And let me know if you like videos like this where I'm testing out different apps or really cool apps that I find in the app marketplace and I show it to you guys. Let me know if you would like to see more of those videos. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you on the next one.